Shalom to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel for scattered heart greetings. In the name of the power, the Lord, 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 the who are these people in the Bible, known as Simeon and Levi? Simeon and Levi, two brethren of Jacob out of his horns, and two tribes of Israel who have a distinct history that makes door to each other. And we're going to show you tonight that the so-called Dominican Aboriginal Indians and the patience of the tribe of Levi. And I'm going to show you who these people are today and who they were in ancient times. So let's go to our opening scriptures in the Bible. Last time we left off on the air, we were talking about the books of Genesis, chapter 39, and Deuteronomy, chapter 32. These are two main chapters in the Bible that you have to use to prove the breakdown of the tribe. The tribal vision that the elders had in mm -hmm. the old one West school, I honor it and I respect it and I keep it the way it was, the way it was presented to me. That's what the scripture says. Present this knowledge to faithful men. And now today we see all the different tribes and different nations being put on there. Why? Because, like it says in the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 10, many of our people's mouths need to be shut, and their camps need to be dismantled and shut down before the Lord comes back here and puts everybody to death. So be here at the base, we're going to keep it pure from other men's sins, and we're going to keep the vision in the long testimony and the faith of my shasha. Jesus Christ in his last days. Tell him about the work of Jesus Christ. So, let's go to uh, the opening scripture. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49, verse 5. We're talking about Simeon and Levi tonight. Let's go back to the scriptures in the Holy Bible. Let's go to Genesis chapter 49. Last time he was on there, he was talking about the one called Warabon. That was the uh, so called uh, people of the Everglades, the Reubenites, or uh, the Seminole Indians. So, we're going to start at verse 5 in the book. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. This is their tribal market. So, where they living at today, they got instruments of cruelty among them. What are, what are the Haitians known for? Witchcraft, voodoo. Is this awful? No, it's not that. What do the most I'll tell you in the Bible about witchcraft and sin? Let's go to the left. Always going to be practicing witchcraft and sorcery? Mm -hmm. No. This is one of the instruments of cruelty that's inside the churches and the inner core of the Levites, the people in the Bible known as Roy Young. And I'm going to show you today who these people are. They are the Haitians, according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. All lawful practices of voting is forbidden in the laws of Yahweh. Khan. That's right. How do we know that? It's for his law. Deuteronomy 18, verse and 9. We and we have an hour. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. When thou comest into the land which your like Yahweh giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abomination of those nations. Yahweh warned us going into the land of Canaan, coming up out of Egypt. He said, Don't do as the Canaanites do. Who are the Canaanites today, people? The Canaanites are the people of South Africa. Zulu warriors. Mandela's people. Chaka Zulu. And every time our people see somebody on TV, 
that look like them, they think that's their nation. That ain't your nation, man. Right. That is not your Naha, Na, uh, Kalnawa, Ma. That's Nawa. not your nation. That's not your nation. Those are Hamites. Polynesian teachers got Afros and Midway teachers, and they look like us, but they're not us. These are different nations that the Lord made on the earth, and everybody is different according to Deuteronomy 32, verse 8. Verse 8. See what it says here? So he says, oh, there should not be found among you any that make up his son or his daughter to pass through the fire of dialism, mm -hmm. or that use a divination, or an observer of time, or an enchanter, or a witch. Y'all hear that? Witchcraft is against the law of the moral law of the most high. He told us in the Bible not to practice witchcraft. Mm -hmm. The Levites, one of the martyrs in the Roman Catholicism and the tribal deities that they have down there, these brothers and sisters practice witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's one of the uh, instruments of cruelty that's amongst the Levites. Now, Shemaima next door to them, on this island, I'm going to show you that just talking about our people down there. This island that they're on has two tribes on there, Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We're going to show you the history of that today. So on this island, the Bible tells you about they, where, they, where they're at right now, on the island of um, 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 Saint Domingo in Haiti. It says here, O oh my soul, come not down to their secret and to their assembly. Don't go to their little mm -hmm. ceremony. ceremony. I have seen them and I have observed them because I'm a priest and I know what that is. Some of y'all don't know what it is. You think you're dealing with the most high. You're dealing with the devil. Okay? That's right. So don't go to their damn ceremonies going over there letting somebody put a dead pigeon on you or some damn pigeon. Oh, you, you, you see them doing that fool stuff? You see them? Mm -hmm. Simeon do it. Shemaim. And down there in uh, Ecuador, they got uh, shamans up in the mountains. Them dudes is rolling on the ground with demons on them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got to get a blessing for the shaman before you go up on the mountain. They're power to a mountain, man. What did Israel have to do when they went up to Mount Sinai? The tribes had to come up with their banners, be quiet, stand there, and stay away from the mountain. And the hollow came down. And his mothership, they call it today. Go see that movie, Third Cop, uh, Third uh, uh, Person Kind of a Third Cop. They got that out the book at Exodus. When the ship came down and the horns blew, boom, 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 boom. That was a most high Yahweh. And he came down in a cloud in that ship. And he opened up and told Moses, Come up. And they're telling the scriptures, Moses was standing on the ground, and he went up like this. What makes you go up like that? Except the chapter of David. God don't understand you how it be. He has those type of things in the heavens, in those chariots that his angels ride in. And when he come back, that's how he's going to fly down with thousands of ships, and he's going to retrieve the one-third of Israel. How do you think we get out of here? The ships, ships going to come chariots. and scoop us up That's and right. we're going to go up in the air and we're going to look down and we're going to see America burn. burning. Central America burning. South America God. burning. God. When the time comes and he said, when we get up in the ship, we're going to say, what the hell are we? We're going to hug each other. We're going to see our people and then we're going to take us in the wilderness. God. Give us a new covenant. New covenant. Then we're going to go out and kick the nation's ass and put them in captivity. Okay. That's right, right. Please call 149. That's what we're going to do. God. God's angel, but make our sins go. Make the Lord call. And when we get our sword and we get our might back, the nations are going to go up on the captivity of the earth. According to Psalms 149. And we're going to take this earth back and set it up under the laws of the most high. So right now, we got to show y'all the trial. Okay? See what it says here? Come not unto their secrets, unto their assembly. My honor. Be thou not in your body. See? And on this island of what they call, Christopher Columbus called this island, Hispaniola. That's where he landed in 1492. Mm -hmm. And like this book, I was showing y'all. 
American Holocaust. Y'all need to get this book. What about uh, David R. Stanek? He Stanek? He was showing you what they did to our people. How they hung the natives and how they cut off their hands. Christians, so called denomination Christians, Roman Catholic priests. And they came over here and they used those islands, people, and the Caribbean. They used this island after they conquered the indigenous people. The people that were there first on the whole island that they call Espanola was the tribe of Shimano. You see this picture right here in this brother? That is a real Shimano. Do your research online about the Dominican Indians. This is a Shimano right here. And I've seen them in grocery stores and in bodegas up here in New York. And they got little woolly hands and kinky hands. I said, hey, oh, my God. Get my soul. They go, huh? I said, you mean you brothers, right? You mean you, come on. Do we brothers? I said, yeah. I said, the Dominicans are the tribe of Shemaya. That's who you are in the Bible. And I said, they're so Christian and Negro. No, I'm right, though. They go, oh, they go, get out the knock. They're so Christian and Negro. No, I blame them. And I show them pictures like this. I say, this is no Hesel Crespo. Hesel Crespo is Negro. I say, Negro. No, no, no. Hesel Crespo, no, no. And they're scared of the Bible. You know why they're scared of the Bible? Because what the white man did to them. Read this book by Dr. Martin Luther King. Read this book by Dr. Martin Luther King. He said in this book, the Spaniards came. He said in this book, the Spaniards came. They used this area, people, as a launching area after they conquered the tribes here. And I'm going to show you one of the pictures of these whites coming over here. When they first met the Shemaiwa Knights in those areas, this is what the Shemaiwa were looking like back then. This is an old picture of a Simeonite, our brother, Shemaiwa, in the Bible. Before that island had Levi on there, these people were living there. Look what the Spaniards did to them. Y'all see this illustration? What color are these people? Brown. Brown. These are our people, Shemaiwa, man. When the Spaniards came in here, they killed them and took the land. This was all prophesied in the Bible to go against us because Shemaiwa and Levi. I'm going to show you, they were, the Levites were the priests of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. The sons of Aaron. You see that movie with Cessna the Mill, the Ten Commandments, and they showed a white man as Moses. Moses would look like this. Mm -hmm. Shemaiwa, when you read in the Bible, he looked like this. All our people look like this. These are the Negroes, as they call us. Or Indians. Okay? That's what they call And these brothers are down there today, catching hell under the Spanish. They're living in the ghettos and slums of the Santo Domingo. And the women down there uses prostitutes and whores. Mm -hmm. You can pick up a big fat Simeonite woman at the damn bus stop and have her all night for a couple of dollars. Mm. And I'm telling you like it is. This is what our people don't be generated down into. So he said, Simeon and Levi, brother, in application, they living on that island of what you call, used to call Pispanola by Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. And he used that island to launch himself into the mother island. But they came and destroyed our people. Before you know it, the people were getting killed by these people. When they first came, they said, who is this? They went out there. They should have went out there with their damn staff and their damn warriors and said, Get off our damn island! Get out of here! Mm -hmm. But no, you know what they did? They said, Who is a white man? They thought he was a god. Hmm. They thought he was a friend. And what happened? Like always, you try to hand out in peace. What this man do? He cut him off. off. Hmm. And he killed him. Because our people didn't keep the laws in the most high Yahweh. So Simeon and Levi also went out.
And I'm going to show you what the Lord said about them in here. Genesis 49. Oh, uh, be like not united. So right now, on that island of Santo Domingo, in the modern day time, you got the Shemarites, which are the Levites, Lord y'all, and Shemarites on the same island, but they not united on the island. They discriminate against the Haitians when they come over there to Santo Domingo, don't they? Go check out the documentary. And the Dominicans and the Haitians don't go along with each other. But they're brothers. Unbelievable. What does that come from? Divide and conquer. Once the white man divided us, the Roman Catholicized us and denominationalized us. Go down there to St. Domingo, you got churches all on that damn island. And down there with Levi, they got all these damn Queen of Heaven churches down there. That's why the Most High sent them plagues on that island. And Levi is in a turmoil right now, according to Hosea chapter 10, verse 13 on down. They got gangs running in the street. They killing babies. They shooting each other. They don't talk the infrastructure of the island. And nobody goes in there and they don't say that. You know why? Because I'm going to show you the game. What the Lord said about the five, the moment, and what He said about Levi. Don't go into their assemblies, and they're not united. For in their anger, they threw a man, and in their self-will, they dig down the wall. So when you read back to the ancient times, Simeon and Levi killed one of the Canaanite or uh, Hamite men in the land of Israel in their early days. And Jacob was like, "Oh my God, you're going to come kill us! Why did y'all do that?" He said, why did you do that, Shemaiah one? And Royal. He said, you can our sister, father. So they went and killed this dude. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stay in the old chapter. So he says, first be your anger, where it was him. And they laughed, where it was cool. And I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. You hear that? Where the Levites and the Shemaiahites are today. Ask the white man to call himself a Jew. He couldn't tell you what his tribes are. They're on the island of St. Domingo and Haiti. The Haitians, Loyola, that's who they are, and the Dominicans, so called Indian Aboriginals, are the tribe of Shimon. And they're on that island right now, according to the scriptures. And let's go to uh, the other part of the Bible. There we go. Genesis. Verse 23. And 22. What's their genealogy? Are they Africans? <laughs> According to the Bible, they're not. Look on their records right here. Look who they related to in the Bible. You're going to be shocked. Let's read Genesis 35, 23. It says this. The sons of Lake, the remedy, Jacob was all of our fathers of the 12 tribes of Israel. We all call Jacob. That's why. We call each other Judah. The Holocaust. Double eyes, double eyes. Shemaya, Simeon. Lower lot. Hate When we see each other. See? And what we say here? The sons of the lady. Reuben. He broke that down. He was a Seminole Indian. Jacob. Firstborn. And Shemaya. Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. And Levi. So this woman had all these brothers. Mm -hmm. Look at these permanent brothers today. That's why my father was and our mother. Mm -hmm. They made us. These are great grandparents that we read about in the Bible. So the seed is carried by the man. So when Jacob had all the different wives, they still his sons and they were children of the father. <laughs> we don't trace our genealogy to our mother. We trace it to the father. Oh, our father would be proud of us today. Mm -hmm. And who else would be proud of us? The Father Spirit. Now, you know why? Because when we love each other, and we keep the laws of the Most High, and we put away all them idols of our people, then we can sit down and work on the Most High program. That's what the Most High wanted to do. He smiles in heaven. He is the old and the son. They're coming together underneath. Yeah. And then when we start praying to him, I want to say, 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 I want to say,
He loves that. And he'll say, you go to Satan. No, my children are coming back to me. Satan goes, really? Well, what about that group over there? That's what he does. That's why I tell you, stay under the wings of the Howard and the Howard shop. Sounds like you go outside of this Bible, right. you will have no protection. None. Psalms 91 tell you that. So we, we are related to these brothers. So let's go into a... Uh, the analogies of our people. Let's go to numbers, right? Then we're gonna come back to Deuteronomy 33 and 8. Let's go to um, Numbers chapter 1, verse 47. Numbers chapter 1, verse 47 to 54. This is talking about the Levites, right? And it tells you this about Levi. In Numbers chapter 1, verse 47. It is written. See what it says there? It says in the 47th verse. But the Levites and the tribe of their father were not numbered among them. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, Only thou shalt uh, not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the son of them among the children of Israel. Why? Because the Levites were the priests. They get they dealt with the tabernacle in the wilderness. When when the tribe was coming out of the, the wilderness, the Levites with Aaron, the son of Aaron, they had the tent and the ark of the covenant and they did the services. And they went inside. And they came out and they did the services around the tent while the other tribes had their tents and their areas with their flag. And we moved out as a a tiny as a nation. And then when we took the tent in the wilderness, he said, Let all the tribes come up and worship the house. Keep the Shabbat. So when we went up, all the tribes stood there and we kept the Shabbat until the temple was built. That's what we were supposed to do forever. Mm -hmm. But we failed to do so. See what it says here? And thou shalt appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony and over all the vessels thereof and over all that belong to the field. They shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels there are. And they shall minister unto it, and they shall camp around the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle is uh, set up forward, the Levites shall take it down, and when the tabernacle be fixed, the Levites shall set it up. And the stranger that come up mad shall be put to death. Nobody can go in that tent at that time except the Levites. Mm -hmm. Remember the story in the Bible when they brought up the Ark of the Covenant and the thing was falling and the brother touched it yep. and he died. God. Because the most high mm -hmm. spirit was in there. Spirit. And anybody other than the Levites who could touch that Bible like the man in his uh, vessels in there, you and got God. put to death. Put that, death. that was a law. That was the law. Okay. you got. All right. And it says, And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man of his own camp, and every man of his own standing, drop their hosts. So when we were in the wilderness, all the tribes were around this tabernacle. It was movable. So we were going toward the land of Canaan to take it. Mm -hmm. But the Levites shall pitch around the tabernacle of the testament. And there shall be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel, and the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel did according to the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. This is what the Levites were in ancient times. Let's go to Numbers chapter 3, verse 4. And it is written, more about the Levites. And thou shalt anoint Aaron and his son, and they shall wait on the priest's office. You hear that? That's the ancient covenant. And the stranger that come up there shall be put to death. And the Lord said to the Lord, saying, I belong and I have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel instead of all the firstborn that opened to the uh, matrix amongst the children of Israel. Therefore, the Levites shall be mine. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Mm -hmm. The Levites belong to the Most High in the priesthood at that time. That's why when you hear about 13 tribes, because a white man know our record. 
Levi was in the temple, temple. in the tabernacle in the world. The other 11 tribes, 11 tribes were in the camp. camps. Dan was there also. Also. Dan did not have a heritage with the other tribes. Right. Dan is over here in North with, America somewhere. With the Mixed in with other, the other tribes, tribes. that came over here. Ten tribes after uh, the city of Right. Okay. The law of the firstborn is the law. And that day I smoked the firstborn in the land of Egypt. I hollered unto all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. Mine shall they be, for I am Yahweh. You see? That's how the most I dealt. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 1. Mm -hmm. This is the two Levites were not part of the regular tribe. That's why you don't hear about them too much, because they were always in the temple. But when the temple got destroyed, Right. And Israel went into captivity, the Levites went with them. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? And that's why you hear about Judah, you hear about Benjamin, yeah. but you never hear about the Levites too much never because hit. they were not counted with the other tribes. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 1. It is written. The priests. The mm -hmm. priests and the Levites, and all the time of Lord God, to have no part of nor inheritance with Israel. Israel. They shall cut and they shall eat of the offerings of the Most High made by fire and the tabernacle. So they ate the sacrifices. The people came up for the high holy days and the Levites were taken care of by the other tribes. Then they have to work. Okay? And they did their thing in the temple. Therefore, so they have no inheritance among their brothers. Yahweh is their inheritance, as he has said unto them. So Levi, the so-called patient, at one time, right. it's unbelievable. This the way you see him now. Right. Here with voodoo and it's running voodoo, around right. as so-called Christians and denominations. Why did this happen to him? Look at him. I'm going to show you why. Alright, go to Malachi chapter 2. It's chapter 2 in the New Testament. Malachi chapter 2, verse 3. What happened to the Levites? Just like all the other tribes. The whole nation went off, right? Did the Levites go off? Yes, they did. That's why you got some of these brothers out here running around talking about three to three, so they went off. When you read in the New Testament, when my Shasha came, what did he do? He He's a reformation. Mm -hmm. And he brought in Judah. Judah. Whom no priesthood was spoken of. So in the, in the change, that's what happened. But Levi did this. Mm -hmm. Let's go to um, Malachi chapter 2, verse 3. It is it. And it says this. Oh, no, I will corrupt your seed and spread down upon your faces. You will go with your solemn feet, and the one shall take away with it. What are they doing now over there? Voodoo. Rolling and doo-doo. Yep. Check out those patient damn uh, uh, voodoo ceremonies, man. Disgusting. Our people are Disgusting. disgustingly rolling in cow manure. Mm. And doing all type of stuff that they got to wear from the land of Ham. Mm -hmm. They were over there for 1,500 years after they left Jerusalem in 70 AD. The reason why we left Jerusalem in 70 AD is because we got chased out of there because we broke the covenant and the law. So the whole nation went down. And the Levites went down too. Because you're a Haitian or a lawyer today does not make you a priest. Right. The priesthood was changed. In the book of Hebrews, you better wake up, brothers. It's in the book of Hebrews. Yep. Yes, it is. And it says what? Malachi chapter uh, okay. verse 3, we read verse 3, and we're going to uh, read 4. And you shall know that I have set this commandment on you. Let's read it. Uh, Malachi chapter verse 2, verse 3. Verse 4. And, verse four. and you shall know that I have set this commandment on you, that you may... Now, the my covenant might be with Levi, said the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. A lot of brothers read this and say this is not. That was back then, was people. Back then. Okay? Right. My covenant 
brought with him of life and sheep, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. So Levi was scared of the Most High. Mm -hmm. So the Most High said, I'm going to make them the priest. Priest. They did. See? The law of truth was in his mouth. What? Was. 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 What does mean? Past tense. Past tense. What are they doing with now? Voodoo. <laughs> you did it with voodoo, lawyer. Right. You did it with Christmas. You did it with the yep. queen of heaven. That's right. All right? Because I'm married to a Levite woman. That's and right. And then when I met him, to get him out of the crap. That's right. Then he receives the boy the crap. Then to the Roman Catholic crap. And when we go to him, we got to rebuke him and take him out of that. Mm -hmm. Because they're in hell and they're lost. And that's what they went into, man. And if you see them from Levites in the churches, don't go in there and do yeah. that voodoo, man. That's right. It's evil. It's evil. evil. It's evil. Well, in his mouth. And, and, uh, mm -hmm. and iniquity was found, was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and in effort. And they turned him, uh, 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 turn away, many away from iniquity. Many. Were turned from iniquity because of the Levites. So they were, they were the law uh, teachers, man, at that time. For the priests worked to teach knowledge, and they should seek the law of his mouth. For he is the message of the Lord of hosts, but ye are departed out of the way. Levites went out of the way. How did they do that? By bringing the law of the covenant and the priesthood. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Holy Spirit came. And reformation came in, and the Hebrews, and now Judah is going to bring forth the priesthood to the other tribe. Right. And the other tribe can come in and become priests. You all understand that? You can become a priest. Now, whatever your job is, you know, what you you get from the spirit, bring it to the base, and we use it to edify the people and in the ministry of part of this congregation. All right? Of the and you have caused many to stumble at the law. You have corrupted the covenant of Levi. Verse 8, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore, I have also made you contemptible and based before the people. What's going on in Haiti? Out of all the tribes, they got it worse than anybody. Haiti is in shambles, man. You go down there, you can't even walk down the street, you gotta hire an armed guard with a gun. Them Negroes is up the hook down there in Haiti. Right now, that whole island is on lockdown. Gangs is in the street. They are, they kicking out white people. The white man is the strongest nation on this planet with all his diplomacy, his army, navy, air force, special forces. And they grabbed the white people down there and put them in hostages. And then they had to negotiate to get them out of there. Remember? Now, where did you go down there? <laughs> I went down there on a cruise ship years ago to Port Liberty. Now, I did some research down there. And I was giving out literature and speaking of the ones I saw down there. And they had a big gate. And they had the port right here with the ship. And the Levites are going to be singing to us and they know songs and they ukulele and they know straw hats like this. And then we went to the gate. My wife had to meet somebody of our tribe. Mm -hmm. You know who was standing at that damn gate? Soldiers. Mm. Struck with guns. Mm -hmm. And they had to throw a pass to get in. And they were standing there. Oh, oh. I looked out there. I was like... I said, man, I ain't going over there. Mm -hmm. And my cousin came in, and he looked like this. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, what are you doing? I said, no. You don't got anything. I said, no. You don't know. I said, I'm just doing this for I look at him. Those brothers are burned off, man. So, can you imagine all the tribes when they see us just like this? They call us Jews, 
and the contemptible stop. Because right now, people are in contemptible laws of the Bible because what the Lord said about him in this book. So let's go to uh, Levi. We went to Levi. I showed you the Levi. Levi's lost their priesthood. Let's go to uh, 2 Chronicles 34.1. This is Simeon. Simeon was mentioned in 2 Chronicles because Simeon was in the land of Israel and they had an area where they were living at in Israel. And during that time, they were part of the nation. So let's go to 2 Chronicles, right? Chapter 34. And we'll start at verse 1. 2 Chronicles chapter 34 and verse 1. Simeon used the Lord right here. This is the ancient map when we came out of Egypt. And this is all the 12 tribes in their land. See, my one is right down here. You know? see this? This is your own one. To my one. Man. 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 Judah, Dan, Ethan, Reuben, God, Manasseh, Ezekiel, Zebulon, Asher, Machbali. And you see the tribes there. Where was, where was Levi? And Benjamin. Benjamin is right here. Mm -hmm. Right next to Judah. Okay? So all these tribes have always been together. Even in captivity, we would be living in each other right now. So back then, mm -hmm. There was a reformation going on with a king called Josiah. And this is what he did. Second Chronicles. First, uh, Second Chronicles 34.1. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. And he reigned in Jerusalem one and thirty years. See that? So let's go to verse four. And he broke down the altars of Baal and, and his cousin and the images that were on hand above them. He caught a bat and the gold and the carved images. See, this man sought the house and the law. Mm -hmm. And the most of images he break in pieces and made dust of them and uh, and stored it uh and stored it in the grave in the in the graves and them that had sacrificed unto it. And he brought the bones of the priests unto their altar and cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. And so did he in the cities of Manasseh and Ephraim and who? To my one. Mm -hmm. See that? And that valley with their mattocks around about. So during that time, the Shemite Shemite was mentioned in there with the other tribes. So during the time of the Assyrian captivity, we don't hear about Shemite one anymore or Gloria. Because Loya stayed in the temple and Shemaiwan went with the ten tribes. And when the Assyrians came in during that time, Shemaiwan left to go on this side of the earth with the ten tribes. So that's why when you go down to Santo Domingo, you see brothers like this. The Aboriginal Dominicans. Mm -hmm. This is a Shemaiwa night. Don't do your research on that. This is Shemaiwa. That's how they used to look. Before the Spaniards came and killed them and put lances to them. And this is what they did. Let's read it out of Hosea. Do y'all know this is in the book of Hosea? When the Spaniards came in, the Hosea, Hosea was a prophet. He was mainly prophesying against the same tribe. This is what he said in his ministry at that time. And he saw the destruction of the Jerusalem and all the prophets did not want to write these things but they had to because they saw it in the vision. And they were like, people were going to die. People were going to be destroyed. Look at what happened to the marriage. Look at what happened to the marriage. Destruction is coming. And it came. Go right here. Over there. A lot of people don't know this, man. You know what I'm saying? Go over there, right? Over there. Give me the scripture. Chapter 
chapter 13, everybody. Mm -hmm. And go to verse 13. Mm -hmm. Listen to this real good. This was a prophecy on Shemaiwa. Because this happened to him too on this side of the earth. See what it says here? Though they be fruitful among their brethren, and each day shall come. The Puerto Ricans are the ones that left like these people who are mm -hmm. already tribes over there. Ephraim. The legendary ten tribes of Israel. Legendary. Shemaiwa was in there. We're talking about him today. East wind shall come, even the wind of the hour shall come out from the wilderness, and its spring shall become dry. Mm -hmm. In 1492, Columbus came. Mm -hmm. When he came, they used that island of Hispaniola after they conquered Shemaiwa, mm -hmm. Ephraim, and all the other tribes over here, and they were ravishing the land and the women and the men. They killed our people, cut their hands off, hung them on ships. They sent a brother named Swanto to Europe. I spoke to the Danites. And he went on a ship and went over there in the captivity. So that's talking about all Israel. All Israel. You just come in and you get these ships. You got your own ships, then we came your own ships, and now we're in captivity, and mm -hmm. we're going to leave out of here on space flying ships. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you will see. In the last yep, day. You will see. The last day. Uh, and his frame shall come dry, and his fountain shall be dried up, his knowledge of self. He shall spoil the treasures of the pleasant vessels. So when that white man came over here, what did they do? They spoiled our people. Right. And they went and attacked Zebulon, they attacked Ephraim, they attacked. There's a car, Montezuma, and the uh, Batistas, and all the damn bastards, man. They came to our people and killed them. Get me. And here we are today, speaking Spanish, French, and British English, aren't we? The captives language. So here we are today, we got spoiled. See what it says here? Samaria, that's what Shemaima went to with the other ten tribes, with people, they went up there for Samaria. So when they say Samaria, that's talking about the ten tribes. Samaria shall become a desolate, be desolate. What that to them? They got taken out of there by the Assyrian army. Second Kings chapter 17. In the book of Ezra, they had a council together, and they left the area of the heathen and went to another area called Oxford. That's the United States, North Central, and South America, and the islands of the sea today. And they left. And Shemaiwa was there with it. Okay? And it says here. But she has rebelled against her power. So by us rebelling, didn't we tell you? Levi rebelled, Judah rebelled, Shemaiwa rebelled, Zebulun, all of us, we rebelled against the covenant of the law. So when we did that, there was a repercussion for it. Here, here it go. They shall fall by the what? What's that? Sword. What does this say he fell by? Sword. You stand off chain. Cut your hands off. Yep. They cut your feet off. And after they did that, they then they the subjugated wind. us to Roman Catholicism and Spanish, French, and British Empire. This place is called a vice war estate at one time, remember? The Soto came in there, spied out the land, and went and told the people on that island of, of Espanol, man, we just came from in there, we seen all these damn heathens in there. He said, get the army together, let's go get them. And that's what they did, brothers. So don't forget your history and your real true brothers of nationality of being Hebrew, Israelite, Marama, Yasha Allah. The hell with them damn church systems, man, and they pamphlets and they Jehovah Witness books. Let's read the Bible together, brother. The Council of the Most High. Read it all. It says here, Their infants shall be what? Dashed in pieces, and their women and child shall be ripped up. Read the American Holocaust. What did they do to the indigenous people of North, Central, and South America and the islands of the sea? Keep this book. And if you don't have it, I'm going to send it to you. If you want it, 
email me on CD123. I'm going to send it to you, brother. Don't worry, I'm going to send you one. This book right here. You get it off Amazon and show the people and read it to them. And if they say, if they say, that was a long time ago, brother. Don't you know they said it? That's what I was saying, man. That's what our people do, man. It's right here in the Bible. Look. Tell you if the Lord don't know his people. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 9. This is what he said about Ephraim. 